This week on Traveling Man, I ran into my good friend Jim Santi. I also ran into all kinds of trouble with small roads, holiday travelers, and any other kind of bullshit that came along the way. Stick around, subscribe, ding that little bell, man! Here with the Slim Jim, the one and only Jim Santee. How do you do? Eventually, Jim and I parted ways. We both had shit to do, you know. I made my first drop that Monday morning over in Valley Springs, California. It's a pretty tight place to get into. Very interesting, very uh, tight roads, lots of switchbacks, lots of tight turns, very narrow lanes. You know, I started to question whether my dispatch was challenging me and testing my abilities to take on such Strange and difficult roads. What the fuck? Sitting uh, just north of San Francisco right now. It's like 4.30 in the morning. And I gotta go drop down into uh, Fremont, California. And drop this transformer off at a dam. Talking to this guy on the phone got me nervous as fuck like it's like this is gonna be a fucking nightmare I keep envisioning bad things happening yeah you look at the GPS here this is I guess this is round about where I'm going oh fuck <laughs> Serious switchbacks and well can't sit here forever. We'll just fucking go and hope for the best. Uh, okay. Let's get out of here. Traveling up this road was very, very intense for me. My ball were up inside my body. My asshole was puckered up like a goddamn fish. I don't know, it was just so goddamn intense. Every little turn, I was nervous. I would, my trailer would fall off. In fact, at one point, there was a serious concern that my trailer was gonna fall off the edge. I hugged the side of this mountain so tight and my trailer still caught the corner and wanted to go off the edge. This shit went straight down. The higher you got, the scarier it got. But then I eventually reached what looked like paradise. And I got this fucking transformer off my trailer, which 
only led to me making my journey back down the mountain, which was a lot less intense. Yeah. It's moments like this where I'm like, what the fuck have I gotten myself into? like that all the way along this edge all those tight corners this is like one little spot where you could pull off huh? fucking nuts watch me get eaten by a fucking bear or some shit look at that California sun California hills yeah, and so I continued on down the mountain, going off to make my last two drops for the day. But before I did that, I had to stop over at the freaking truck stop in French Camp, California, catch a shower, wash my ass. Goddamn, check out the side of this shower room. It's like a fucking apartment. Jesus. Some of these are real fucking shitty. Look at that. I got the handicap room. Are you trying to tell me something? I'm going to uh, Atwater, California. I'm gonna make my last drop. I just left Stockton. Got rid of that last fucking generator I had. And man, this smoke is crazy. Smell it in the truck. It's so fucking sad. It's crazy how smoky this the state of California is in. This right here, this is a giant mixer I picked up in Bell, California. It's a part of Los Angeles. Well, en route to the yard to take it and tarp it, I was called to go to Ventura. What the fuck? All right, so we'll go and do that one pick uh, in Los Angeles. Hey, go bring it to the yard, I'm like six miles away. I'm heading to the yard. This thing needs to be tarped. It's covered in all this plastic, like saran wrap. I'm out in the road, ready to go. Oh, I need you to get to Ventura, like right now. Fuck. I don't even know, I didn't even know how far away Ventura was. Who gives a fuck, I don't even know who Steve is, fuck you. Anyway, so then I got a haul ass to Ventura. And it shreds all that plastic, god damn, on that piece. I get here, it takes me for fucking ever. It's the busiest travel day of the year. Hey, it's the busiest travel day of the year, man. Hurry up and get somewhere far away in Southern California. Oh, oh forgive me, I'm sounding like a little bitch right now. Please forgive me, I, that's just uncalled for. Forgive me, eh? Jesus Christ. If there was another one of me, I'd slap the shit out of me right now. Well, fuck you too, Mr. Bus Driver. Well, that was a hell of a ride back to Santa Fe Springs. Going through Hollywood and all that bullshit. Anyway, once I got to the yard, I got reloaded, tarped, and went to bed, man. Well, it's Thanksgiving morning, and the sun is up, and I wanted to be out of here before the sun even came up. And my dumb ass is still in bed. But, I'm getting the fuck up to go trucking so I can go to the house, man. Oh boy. Right, son. Jesus, man. 
Yeah, it was supposed to be gone a long time ago. I started doing some laundry last night and I fell asleep and left it up there. So I gotta let that dry. Anyway, this is the load I did last night. Me and uh, a couple of guys here that work in the yard. Finish this dude up. Got out of that terrible, terrible traffic. <clears throat> I think it was like uh, 80 miles I had to do just to get over here to the yard. I think it took like five hours. <sighs> anyway. I'm in a better mood anyway. I got I know it's gonna be traffic for the next couple of days, but hell. I'm going to the house. I didn't think I was going to the house, so but I got that, so 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 <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking clean up and uh, get my laundry done. Check this out. That train runs all the fucking time. Didn't wake me at all last night. Check it out. I hear it coming. This runs several times a night. Oh, that's a freight truck. I mean, train. Tired as shit. Maybe a little both. The only person here <laughs> at the terminal. We got some trucks coming in. We're gonna load up and actually they're unloading and loading out. So you guys have fun with that. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Well, I'm gonna stop here in Moriarty, New Mexico. Take me a little break on my way home. And I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here and catch you next time. I'll catch you from the house. Watch for my next in the driver's seat episode. I got someone really cool I'm going to put in the driver's seat. Have a little interview with them. And if you missed my last one with Jim Santee, check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you so much. You don't know what it means to me. We'll do this. We'll make this a weekly thing. I think we already started with that shit, huh? Anyhow, you guys be careful. I gotta pee.